Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on this very beautiful hoodie vest. The size is small and this is the yarn and hook I am going to use for this project. You can use any type of acrylic yarn. First we will take the measurement of the hoodie vest. Okay, This is the design of the vest. So first we will take the body width of the vest now. So from here to here. The width is 19 inches so if you want you have to increase the beginning chain cone for the bigger size and from shoulder to bottom the height is 28 inches if you want you can reduce the height of the vest Now, this is the chest measurement. So, from here to here, you can see 17 inches. And then, sleeve measurement. So, from here to here, you can see this is 7 inches. And then, you can take the hoodie measurement now this is perfect for small size the height from here to here 9 inches and then the width of the hoodie from here to here exactly 13 inches now this portion okay only chest excluding the sleeve so from here to here is 14 inches so this is the measurement and the shoulder alone without sleeve is 4 inches and with sleeve is 6 inches so this is the close look design okay it looks like so it's a very pretty and unique design you can definitely try it's a beginner pattern only so anyone can make this vest i'll explain you clearly step by step this is the inner side of the vest and this is the front side okay you can see the design so without wasting any time we'll start working on this tutorial so let us start. So I am going to use the hook size H5mm. First we will make a slip knot to start the project like this. And then you have to make a chain 142. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you need to form a big ring. So for that. I am going to take out the hook and then insert the hook in the first chain and again insert the hook here. Then continue making 142 chains so that the chain will not get twist. Make sure it should not get twist. Okay. So I have completed 142 chains. See here. Now you need to finish it off this round, right? So making a slip stitch and then chain one. Make a double crochet in the same chain like this. And then you have to make a double crochet in every chain. So you just continue making a double crochet 
till end so i have completed i have got a 142 double crochets so you have to increase six six chains for the next next sizes okay so if you are making l size you have to increase six chains excel size you have to make increase 12 chains so like that you have to do the chain should be even number that you make sure so now just make a double crochet in the next chain so this is the last double crochet now make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round okay you can do whatever size you can make but the chain should be even number now make a slip stitch and then chain one so this is the ribbing part so you have to make a front post double crochets in the same stitch and then back post double crochet in the next stitch so this round you have to make front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet till the end of this round So you just repeat the same pattern till the end. So I have completed. Now you need to make a back post double crochet in the last stitch. And then slip stitch in the first front post. I'm going to changing the color of the yarn like this way. And then take the blue color, make a chain one. Again make a front post double crochet in the same stitch so this round also similar to the previous round so front post double crochet in the previous front post back post double crochet in previous back post like that you have to repeat till the end So you just continue and repeat the pattern till the end. So I have completed. This is the third round. Okay. Now make a front post double crochet. And then back post double crochet. Slip stitch in the first front post to finish this round. Chain 1. Now you have to start working on the pattern, insert the hook in the same stitch, pull the yarn and then again insert the hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn. Yarn over, pull through first two loops and then yarn over, pull through next two loops. Then chain one. So you have to do the same for the next two stitches. So insert the hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn and then again insert the hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn. So you will get three loops. now. Yarn over, pull through first through loops, pull through next two loops, chain one. Then you have to do in the next two stitches the same. So pull through first two loops, pull through next two loops, then chain one. So this is the cluster I am saying for this project. Okay. So you just do it like the same till the end of this round.
just continue the similar pattern till the end so i have completed now i am going to make the last cluster so totally i have got 71 clusters chain 1 so this is a very important so you just skip the first cluster and insert the hook in the next space here now using the new color of thread like this pull the yarn like this way and then take the peach color and then again insert the hook in the next space pull the yarn so you will get three loops so yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through next two loops chain one so this is what you have to start the next round with the new color so chain one and then again insert the hook in the next space like this and then insert the hook in the next space yarn over pull through first two loops pull through next two loops chain one so you have to work on the two spaces you can see right so the space you have to work on the cluster so every time if you are not going to change the color of the thread means you just proceed with the same pattern with the single color till the end so i've already done with the same design the single color pullover one tutorial earlier so i'll be giving that uh, link in the description so you can refer this is the multicolor so that's why i am going to change the color of the thread in the every beginning of the every row okay so that you make sure if you are going to use the single color you no need to worry you just proceed with the same design till the chest portion so i have completed you can see right so i am going to mark a marker here so that you can do it easily from the next row so just repeat the same pattern till the end after that we will change the color of the yarn So I have completed, now you need to make the cluster in the next two space again like this, chain 1. Now you need to make a last cluster, this time you have to change the color of the thread. So you will get 3 loops right, so now yarn over pull through first 2 loops and then pull through next 2 loops, now you just take out the loop here now insert the hook in the two loops like this way and then join the new color yarn chain one and then insert the hook in the next two space like this and then pull through first two loops pull through next two loops chain one okay so just pull the peach color thread like this so this is what i'm going to change the color of the yarn for the whole project now you have to proceed with the same pattern with the uh, cream color yarn so just continue by making a cluster in every two spaces chain one so like this till the end after that i will change the color so i am going to use three colors for this project So now you need to change the color of the yarn this time. So pull through first two loops and then yarn over pull through next two loops. Now you just take out the loop like this and then insert the hook in the two loops here and join the blue color. Just insert like this. Hold the loop like this way and then take the blue color yarn 
and then pull through like this okay chain one now you just repeat the pattern so insert the hook in the two space here so here insert the hook and the next space insert the hook pull the yarn then you will get three loops so yarn over pull through first two loops pull the next two loops chain one okay so now just pull the thread like this and then proceed with the pattern you can see this is what i'm going to change the color of the yarn whatever way you can make you can do but i am going to use this technique okay for the whole project but if you are using single color then no need to worry just use the same pattern no difficult just place a marker in the first row and then proceed till the chest portion okay So I have completed so now this is a cluster then chain one then again you need to change the color of the thread here right so every time you have to do the same so continue and repeat the pattern till you reach the 54 rows like this way so don't remove the marker this will help you counting the rows okay just repeat the pattern
so continue the same like this okay so here ribbing we have completed three rows right after that four five six seven eight so like that we have completed so we need to complete 54 rows totally so i have completed 54 rows which includes the ribbing rows also you can reduce the rows if you want to reduce the length but i am going to finish 54 rows if you want you can make 50 rows or 48 rows based on your height okay once you complete 54 rows we'll be working on the chest portion so this is the 54th row right so we need to finish it off this round for that chain one make a last cluster like this now no need to change the color so chain one make a slip stitch in the next space then chain one fasten off the yarn so this is what i'm completing totally 54 rounds like this so we'll be start working on the back panel so for that here you can count this is the back side the joining portion is the back side so you just count one two three right this is the fourth cluster so three cluster we need to skip just insert the hook after the three cluster next space here now take the blue color yarn and then make a chain one make a start working on the pattern so insert the hook in the same space and insert the hook in the next space pull through first two loops pull through next two loops chain one now again you have to do the same for the next two space this is a little difficult but you have to do it like this and then chain one now again you just repeat so in the next two space make a cluster and then chain one so like this this is the only method i can use the same body design till the end of the waist so that's what i'm going to do it like this so just continue and repeat the pattern like this way till you get 30 clusters So just continue so one two three four five six seven eight like that you have to repeat till 30 clusters okay so i've completed two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine right now this is the last cluster thirtieth cluster to finish this round chain one okay so please make sure you should get 30 clusters here chain one just to fasten off the thread so every row you have to do it like this then only you will get the pattern in the chest also now you need to start the next row from here so if you want you can use half double crochet or single crochet or double crochet in the chest portion but i am i need the same design to be in the chest so that's what i am going to use this technique so insert the hook in the first stitch like this now chain one make a single crochet like this chain one then repeat the same pattern so in the next two space make a cluster so you have to start with chain one single crochet in the first stitch and then repeat the cluster in the every two spaces till the end so first row you should get 30 clusters second row you should get 29 clusters so 30 29 30 29 like that you have to get okay so just repeat the same pattern till the end
so just repeat like this way till here so i have completed now at the end i need to make a cluster in the last two spaces chain one so end up with the single crochet in the last stitch here and then chain one fasten off the yarn so this is the second row like this and then join the another color just insert the hook in the first stitch here then join the another color pull the loop down chain one so you no need to make a single crochet now You're just directly working on the clusters so one row you have to start with the single crochet and another row you have to start with the chain one and end up with the slip stitch so that you make sure single crochet start with single crochet end up with single crochet so start with chain one end up with slip stitch so like that you have to alternatively you have to do the pattern right now proceed with the cluster pattern that will not change only starting and ending of the round will get changed So I have completed so at the end you have to make a cluster again chain one now this is the last cluster insert the hook insert the hook in the space and then pull through first two loops pull through next two loops chain one slip stitch in the last stitch here to finish this round so this round you should get 30 clusters so if you start with chain one end with slip stitch you should get 30 clusters if you start with chain one single crochet and end with single crochet you should get 29 cluster that you make sure so we are going to start working on the next round now insert the hook and then start with the single crochet chain one and then again you have to work on the cluster in the every two spaces because previous round we have start with chain one end with slip stitch right so this round you have to start with chain one single and end with single crochet so just repeat the same now you have to do the single crochet to finish this round right then chain one fasten off the yarn then using the another color insert the hook and make a chain one so just repeating two rows for the whole pattern join the yarn chain one so this round you have to work on clusters from the first without making a single crochet so chain one cluster and then chain one cluster so like that at the end you should finish with the slip stitch
so here this is the cluster and then chain one this is the cluster chain one and then make a slip stitch in the last stitch here so this round you should get 30 clusters so chain one first knot the thread so again and again you have to repeat the similar pattern okay so next time you have to start with single crochet chain one single crochet and then chain one cluster so you have to do it like this So you just repeat the same pattern, I mean two rows you need to repeat. So next round you have to start with chain one, end with slip stitch and then chain one single, end with uh, single crochet. So like that you have to repeat the two rows. So we have completed one, two, three, four, five, six rounds completed. So you need to complete 25 rounds. Okay, so you need to complete 19 more rows for the back, back side. So front side I will explain you later. First we will complete the back side of the uh, vest. So I have completed 25 rows now. See here it looks like this. Now you need to work on the shoulder part of the back portion. So from here to here 25 rounds exactly. So already we have completed 54 plus 25 in the back panel. Okay. So, so here we have to divide the shoulder part from left and right. After completing the shoulder part, we will start working on the front side with a similar pattern. So from here onwards, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 rounds completed. Now, so this is the 26th round. So this is the shoulder part. Okay. So join the yarn, chain 1, make a single crochet in the same stitch. So one and then in the next space you have to make a single crochet and then again next space you have to make a single crochet. This is the third single and then fourth single in the space, fifth single in the every space you have to work okay. So fifth this is the sixth single and then this is the seventh single. So like that you have to do 17 single crochet. And then 8th single, 9th single, 10th single, 11th single. So like that, 17 single crochet you need to make.
So I have completed 17 single crochet. Now this is the first row. So just count it and confirm. You should get 17 single. Now chain 1, turn your work. And then you have to make a single crochet in every stitch till the end. This round also you should get a 17 single crochet. So single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in every stitch like this. So I have completed. So this is the last single crochet. You need to finish it off this round. Chain 1, fasten off the yarn. So this is the shoulder part of the back panel. So just fasten off the yarn like this and then other side you have to do the same 17 single crochet. Do the same. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 clusters right. So here also you need to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the next space here right. So here you have to start. After the 8 cluster 2 space will be there. So there you have to start making the single crochets. So join the yarn. Make a chain 1 single crochet in the same space. And then single crochet in the next space. Have to make a single in every space till the end. This time you should get 17 single crochet again. So this is the last single crochet and then like this. Now chain 1, turn your work. So this round also you have to make a single crochet in every stitch. Like this. So 17 single crochets. So I have completed so last single then chain one fasten up the yarn so the similar way you have to do the front panel also so for the back side look at the design here so this is the neck portion and the two shoulder parts so front panel and sleeve neck ribbing everything will be covering in the part two of the tutorial so thank you very much for watching my channel. 